I moved into Richmond and he was the little man that lived in the house opposite. Um, we'd see him in the afternoons coming out onto his porch and um, that was it basically. Uh, and he started to sort of trust me or tell stories. Roger was my neighbour. He lived across the road in a dilapidated weatherboard cottage surrounded by an overgrown garden. Every day he would stand by his front gate and watch the passing traffic and occasionally engage in a conversation with a passerby. And after Roger died in um, 2002, I'd collected bits and pieces, my photographs of Roger in nursing homes. Uh, I have his passport, all these old photographs of Roger that I collected that were just in a box. Uh, and I wanted to put something together, piece something, a story about him. Roger carried in his jacket pocket a small photo of his father given to him by his grandmother in later life. Declared an orphan of war by the French government, Roger, aged 12, began working as a pastry cook and in 1939, prior to the outbreak of war, was called up into the Army Reserve. He was captured by the Germans in 1940 and spent the next four years as a prisoner of war, escaping three times but always recaptured. I think anyone could do a digital story. It's very hard to put someone's life into three minutes, but as a medium, I think it was a great medium. On Sundays I would visit him and we would sit and play cards, listen to Edith Piaf sing and eat little coloured marshmallows. Sometimes we just sat in silence and held hands. His life, his life has been recorded and he did exist and um, people have got to hear about him and I feel that if, if, if someone sees the story and then, then they see an aged neighbour or someone down the street and they just take the time um, and get to know that person, that they might hear their stories. And um, I think it's very important for our elderly people to be recorded. I feel that as a community we let Roger down, that the service that he had given in his younger life was not returned to him in his later years. He had stories to tell and share. This is his. <laughs>